हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट ट्वेंटी सिटीजनशिप एंड आवर टॉपिक इज नेशन स्टेट एंड द सिटीजनशिप of late assertion of ethno religious identities has emerged as a dominant global reality this has in turn questioned the basic premises of the nation state which was conceived as the most authentic expression of group life and all encompassing political community the strong faith respond in the idea of nation state and citizenship as means of striking equality protecting liberty and promoting fraternity among the people of diverse socio economic groups stands shattered the neutrality of the state and these junctions between ethnicity and state is under question the basic assumptions of the hypernated concept of nation state are contested by the emergent global reality of ethno national movements assertion of minorities for their identity and rights and a strong politics of identity and politics of representation now minority and disadvantaged groups are demanding their space in the structure of governance autonomy and self governing rights are major agenda of the new social movements across the world this has resulted into compounding ethnic conflicts in different parts of the world nation state is a eurocentric construct and in many situations and conditions state has been conflated with nation in their conceptualization the conflation of state and nation has given rise to many wrong policies of the state towards its ethnic groups and minorities the occurrences of ethnic violence are not unconnected with the approach of the state towards different ethnic groups this is not confined only to the case of the developing world which was attempted to emulate the model of the west for building their own structure of state and society but also in the developed world of the west which have been regarded as the citadels of idea of nation state the politics of identity and ethnicity has emerged very forceful the concept of nation and state has been the part of the grand narratives of modernity consequently the project of nation and state building in third world countries has not been congruent to with the european experience for the societies in these countries have been traditional and diverse multiple allegiances have not been coterminous with the loyalties of the nation state of the western construct language and territory are the main basis of nation formulation there are strong tendencies to conflate state to nation and state building as the nation building this conflation has given rise to multiple and compounded problems of programs and policies of the state towards the ethnic groups 
religion cannot provide authentic basis of nation, nation formation and national identity. Therefore, any effort to espouse nationalism by invoking religious exclusivity is not only alienating but also exclusionary. Any such effort in the past has not succeeded and it is bound to fail in the future also. Now, let us move to the next point rights and duties of the citizenship. Harlood J. Lasky asserts that every state is known by the rights that it maintains. The state is not merely a sovereign organization which is entitled to the citizen's allegiance and which has the power to get its will obeyed. The citizen owes and normally renders allegiance to the state and carries out its commands. However, the citizen does not render allegiance and obedience to the state merely for their own sake. On the contrary, it does so because of his conviction that the state exists and functions for the achievements of the common welfare, which includes his own welfare. The citizen has his obligations to the state. At the same time, the state has an obligation towards the citizen, namely the obligation to provide and maintain those conditions and opportunities which facilitates the fullest development of his physical, mental and moral faculties. The citizen is entitled to these conditions and opportunities. In other words, they are his rights. Rights are closely related to duties. Rights imply duties. Rights and duties are two aspects of the same coin. Rights represent a man's claims on the society while duties indicate what he owes to society so as to be able to enjoy his rights. Thus, while society guarantees security and well-being to the citizen, the citizen owes to society the duty to make his contribution to the security and well-being of the community as a whole. In other words, the citizen owes a society as much as he claims for it. His rights are not independent of society. He cannot act unsocially. There is a twofold relationship between rights and duties. In the first place, every right implies a corresponding duty. A right belonging to one individual imposes on others the duty to respect his right. His right, therefore, is their duty. In second place, a right is not only a means to the individual's self-development, it is also a means to the promotion of general welfare. Every right of a citizen is accompanied by the duty that he should use it for the common good. Rights valuable and indispensable as they are, are not absolute or unlimited. Rights and duties are correlative. As a citizen, man owes some obligations and duties to his fellow citizens and to society is universally recognized. As in the case of rights, the obligations of citizenship are also 
equally applicable to all alike. Now let us wind up the session and take rest. Thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcast.